Hello, Buzz and Girls. My name is HotCC and welcome to another day in Minecraft where we are following up on the last episode here at our uh, largest tree farm. And because it's so big, um, the whole build up is split over several videos. And I decided let's get another part. Uh, out here and today we will focus a bit on uh, the wiring meaning uh, redstone we did a bit uh, last time down there uh, but basically the line ends there that's where the uh, input signal comes in um, for uh, dispensing more saplings when we need them but of course we need a bit more uh, uh, circuitry here around and hopefully I will manage to get most of that completed uh, in today's episode so with further ado let's get into it all right then Let's try to make sense of all this redstone wire mess. Even though there are quite a few signs uh, and buttons or levers all over the place, it's a bit complicated and it's not uh, fully completed because for here for example, that's probably a whole section that we will tackle in a separate video. Uh, same over there. Uh, but basically, this is the on off switch for the farm. And we have a signal going down there and around. And we have a sign here that tells us that's the turn on. So let's follow this line if we can. We cannot. So let's fall down and uh, fly up again because here in the middle is a bit of a colorful piece um, with redstone blocks in it and this is basically a state store uh, thing so with the, the, the farm being more complex um, certain things have to happen in a certain order for example we have to turn on the farm and we have to plant the saplings then the saplings need to be bone milled once the trees have grown we can move them out of the way uh, and only after uh, we have made room we can then iterate and plant new saplings so this is what this is for we have four different states and the current state is marked by the redstone block here on top and we have uh, two exits or two uh, readouts on this side and we have two on the other side and on each readout, we basically have an end gate like this. So the output signal is only active or only true if we are in the correct state and a certain thing happens. So uh, that's, that's where we get the, uh, the input signal there. And each event, uh, basically, if we are in this state and we get the event 
to progress to the next state um, that will trigger uh, something within the form but it will also trigger the state uh, storage uh, machine uh, that will progress the state to the next one so pushing this redstone block one over and i made uh, a tutorial uh, for this for this contraption uh, where it's all uh, explained a bit more in detail and in a bit we will see if we can simplify um, this form here um, but let's see what or let's sleep through the night and then look what uh, uh, what we have here um, already as input signals so the first one we have already seen that's that's the turn on that goes down there uh, and and around and in an end gate um, with the signal and then down here we have another thing with uh, uh, these daylight sensors that are on night mode and we have three modules one to the back there then one in the middle one there and they basically we have two sensors and we compare the signal of both of them and that's how we detect if a tree has grown because the tree will grow basically here obscure this one um, but only uh, if uh, uh, we also get uh, coverage from leaves over here then we know that the tree has grown so basically this is the control um, sensor and that one detects if there are leaves above and basically we want to chain this so we want to get a signal out here uh, at the bottom that's that line over there uh, if all three three all three trees have grown and that's why we have other end gates here one coming from the the module the cell itself and the other coming in from the back there from the cell further back so here with this end gate uh, we combine the output of these two and then we have one down here where we combine the combined output of this end gate with this one uh, and then basically all the other signals uh, are coming uh, from different uh, directions that we have not yet implemented and uh, we will we will see that in in due time uh, and uh, basically or hopefully once we are done with the complete form everything will make sense but now let's have a crack at, uh, at this state machine and see if we can simplify it now then this redstone block puts out a signal of strength 15 and because we do have a, a redstone block there we have this slightly weird contraption where we have a sticky piston with a slime block and then a normal block in front because uh, we cannot if the redstone block would be closer to the piston 
the piston is uh, uh, bud powered uh, and that messes the whole thing up. So if we could replace this redstone block with something different that puts out a redstone signal and ideally a redstone signal at strength 15 we could basically move everything a bit closer in and uh, compact the thing a bit and there are two movable blocks that we can use one is a cauldron filled and the other one is a composter also filled however a filled cauldron only puts out the signal strength of three which is a bit of a problem if we do not want to rewire everything here so what i think we will do is take this one out um, add in a composter and then fill it up to the brim yep and that gives us a signal that's strong enough and then basically we can move the piston one closer uh, and we would not even need a sticky piston because uh, uh, all we need to do is push the blocks we only have the sticky piston because uh, uh, we have the slime block uh, that is attached to the actual block that pushes things around so we also need to replace this one down here uh, in the same fashion fill it up only fill it up there we go and then we can rip this thing out and then we have just to make sure that uh, the signal that we get in uh, reaches the piston and i have a hot mess in here so let's get uh, a good night's sleep and uh, fetch the materials that I'm actually needing for this one. So let's put all the other stuff away. That can go in here. Don't need that one anymore. Um, we need these pistons. right and then the piston can actually go there so where is it? Right. So now I only have to count if uh, the signal string is strong enough to reach that piston. Um, and it's always a bit tricky to get around here. So what we can do, we get the signal from there. Oh, 
let's put in a repeater here. And then there. Nice. And of course, there are. Hmm. No, that would work. I was just wondering because we have this piston here which can break this connection uh, but we had beforehand we had a connection here and one there but that does not matter in in this case so and we also can fix it uh, here And have it there to push it down. Then over on this side, have it there. Just do that because we have a repeater there. And of course, up here, um, we also need to adjust the wiring. can do is we do not need to go up here we have a repeater on four ticks and a repeater on two ticks the delay is important because um, the uh, piston uh, to move things around need to be fired in the right sequence right so that you can see we have uh, one gap here but on and one gap here so we need to first um, uh, push down or up before we can push over. All right, then here I think I will break this and then let's have a temporary block there. And have the delay. So you you can see the delay on top and below. That's the that's the same. Uh, but the delay. Uh, uh, left and right is also the same um, but they are different to each other I don't need that block anymore nice and that simplifies the whole thing considerably so and it still works in the same way now that we have ensured that uh, the signal uh, is strong enough 
and uh, we power the piston uh, in the same manner as before so yeah that's it for the uh, redstone bit as you can imagine there is still quite a bit more redstone uh, to be done but basically uh, all this wiring here that's the control circuit that uh, uh, ensures that everything uh, happens in the right order and the other redstone uh, that's just for uh, uh, the different parts of the machine so hope you enjoyed this one and uh, i think the next one will be something different uh, because we we have also other things to consider uh, and not just growing trees so until then goodbye